Hey co-stars, welcome to another Generation Films video. My name is British Ben. Well, the Borg are one of the most terrifying enemies in Star Trek. And in case you ever find yourself in this situation... <laughs> Well, actually, if that had already happened, that would be too late. Rewind that clip about 10 seconds. But if you ever find yourself face to face with the Borg, we have compiled a handy guide on how to defeat them. This is 10 ways to defeat the Borg. Number one, hand to hand combat. Now, the Borg can adapt to energy weapons. Once a couple of drones take a hit with whatever weapon, the entire collective analyzes the data and bam, the next drone that comes along has a personal energy shield like this. You could say those two guys took one for the team. And now energy weapons are useless. Now you could try modulating frequencies or something, that sometimes works. That's probably what this guy was trying to do. But you know, you don't really have time for it in the middle of a battle. So what do you do? Well, the one thing they don't seem to adapt to is hand-to-hand -hand combat. Basically, you gotta beat the shit out of them. <laughs> Now you'd think that after you'd knocked a few of them out, they would adapt by learning your fighting style and coming up with some martial art to counter you. Kind of like how Neo learns martial arts at fast speed in the Matrix. I know Kung Fu. But no, they don't seem to adapt in that way. And you don't just have to go hand to hand, you can use weapons too. Here Worf demonstrates it with a Klingon necklace. But the weapon doesn't even have to be handheld. Basically, any physical weapon will work too, like our next example. Number two, projectile weapons. The Borg don't adapt to projectile weapons, so you can shoot them with a Tommy gun and they drop like flies. Basically, they don't adapt to any kind of kinetic damage or damage caused by other factors in the environment. Here, Picard takes advantage of this weakness by shooting his phaser rifle at the deflector dish, which releases pressurized gas, and the force of the gas flings the Borg drone out into space. So yeah, just make sure you have something physical, like a Tommy gun, a big stick, a rock, or just a wall to throw them at. Number three, blow them out of an airlock. We see this strategy used in the Voyager episode Scorpion Part 2. You know, the episode where we see Seven of Nine for the first time. That girl who sickly looks fill every nerd's dreams. But anyway, when the Borg are in Voyager's cargo bay and they start accessing computer systems, Chakotay gives them one warning and then he opens the airlock and depressurizes the bay, blowing most of the Borg out into space. Only Seven of Nine survives. It's kind of messed up that Chakotay, who started off trying to kill Seven of Nine, would eventually go on to date her. I bet she would bring that up every time they had an argument. Chakotay, you didn't clean the replicator. It's your turn, honey. Um, well you did try to kill me, so you could be a little bit more accommodating. Okay, honey. Anyway, we see a similar tactic used by the Romulans in Star Trek Picard. They open the doors of a Borg cube and numerous drones are blown out into space. And there's really no defense to this. The Borg can't just adapt to weightlessness and create some kind of Iron Man suit to fly back to safety. Number four, make them go to sleep. Now everyone has a bedtime and sometimes you're just so shattered that you can't go any further. And the Borg do have a sleep mode where they recharge. In the episode, Best of Both Worlds, when Picard has been assimilated by the Borg, but has been brought back aboard the Enterprise, Data is able to access I guess you could say the Wi-Fi aboard a Borg cube by interfacing with Picard. Now this Borg cube is about to attack Earth and time is running out. The Enterprise fires all its weapons but with no effect. And then prepares for a Star Wars Last Jedi style ramming maneuver, warp speed ramming. But at the last minute, Picard's consciousness breaks through the Borg implants and he says one word. Sleep. Data realizes Picard is telling him how to defeat the Borg cube. The regeneration system is not considered a high priority system and is thus not secured and Data can access it, activating the regeneration mode and putting the entire Borg cube to sleep. So I guess the moral of that story is set a Wi-Fi password guys, even if you don't think your network is carrying anything critical. Number five, beam a photon torpedo aboard their ship. Now Voyager uses this tactic against a Borg probe out in the Delta Quadrant. Now I know what you're going to say, but you can't beam things through shields. Well, I guess in the episode, they kind of give you the idea that the shields have been damaged. Listen, the Borg say this. 
Regenerate primary shield matrix. So I'm guessing it's because it's a Borg probe, a smaller ship rather than a Borg cube. Maybe the ships were easier to drain. Probably this method wouldn't work against a cube. But since it is a probe, they are able to beam a photon torpedo aboard. Security breach. Starfleet photon torpedo. Don't you love how the Borg just always announce everything, even when it's super obvious? What a pain they would be in real life. Check amount 8540. Split two ways, 4270. Don't be rude, 8 of 23. This is a date. If we split the check, I'm friend zoned. Car crash causing fire. Damage irreparable. Your insurance deductible is $1,000. Gee, thanks for reminding me. Human male, 27 years old. Statistically likely having an affair with your sister. All right, where's that photon torpedo when you need it? So Voyager transports the torpedo in. The Borg tries to disarm it, but they fail. And the probe is toast. Number six, transphasic torpedoes. This was Starfleet's secret weapon against the Borg. These torpedoes create a subspace compression pulse and the Borg shields can only block one component of that pulse. What's more, each torpedo has a different transphasic configuration so they can't adapt. In the book, Greater Than The Sun, the Enterprise E is equipped with transphasic torpedoes and engages in hit and run missions against the Borg. The only time we see them on screen is in the last episode of Voyager Endgame where one or two torpedoes can destroy a Borg cube. But if you don't have transphasic torpedoes, then you're gonna have to try a bit harder, like in our next method. Number seven, fire all your weapons at one spot on a board cube. Now this is what Picard orders the fleet to do in the battle of Sector 001 and it is successful but there is no explanation in the film why this works. Some people say that Picard was using his residual connection to the Borg to spy on the cube and know where it was weakened but I like the explanation of this guy on Reddit a lot better. He thinks the Borg Queen intentionally told Picard where to fire in order to destroy the cube as a distraction while she escaped in the Borg sphere and time traveled back to the 21st century. Only problem was that the Enterprise followed her back in time, so the plan didn't really work. But it's more believable than Ronald D. Moore's explanation back in 1998. He said that they all fired at the waste extraction system. Number eight, release plasma coolant to kill their organic components. Now don't forget the Borg are partly organic. They're not robots, they're cyborgs. They need their organic components to function. And this is how the Borg Queen dies in Star Trek First Contact. The idea of this is to release warp plasma coolant, which is a biohazard substance that liquefies flesh upon contact. This is why whenever there was a coolant leak on the Enterprise D, Geordi couldn't stay and fix it and he had to close that big garage door and do that roll move to get to safety or get liquefied. In First Contact, Data delivers a killer one-liner before releasing the coolant. Resistance is futile. Because it kills organic matter, this is why we see the organic skin the Borg added to Data burn off, and obviously Picard has to get out of there or else he would be liquefied too. In First Contact, the death of the Queen causes all Borg aboard the Enterprise to shut down. Number nine, infect them with a pathogen. In the final episode of Voyager, Endgame, no, that's not it, ah, that's better. So in the episode Endgame, future Janeway carries out an illegal mission to travel back in time to help Voyager get home. She carries a neurolytic pathogen in her body that she wants to deliver to the Borg, but this is a kamikaze mission because you have to get assimilated in order to deliver the pathogen. When the Borg Queen assimilates Janeway, the pathogen transfers to her and to the Collective. Wait, didn't we just see that woman die aboard the Enterprise? Yes, there was more than one Borg Queen, and yes, they did look exactly the same, except in a few of the episodes where she was played by a different actress. But let's say you don't have a pathogen at your disposal, and you don't want to go on a suicide mission anyway, you could use our 10th and final method. Number 10 set Species 8472 on them. Species 8472 were formidable. They were the only species the Borg had failed to assimilate. They traveled around in bioships with powerful weapons. Look, this is what one could do to Voyager. Oh, These ships could also combine their weapons into one really powerful super weapon. Here they are destroying a Borg world and multiple Borg cubes. So yeah, 
enlist the help of Species 8472. But guys, if you can't defeat the Borg in real life, at least you could talk about it on YouTube. So if you want to do what we do, talking about fictional alien races, fictional starships, or any other topic for that matter, as a career, yeah, I know, it's crazy, on YouTube, you might want to check out our new course, YouTube Viral Mastery. It's a course on how my business partner and I built nine YouTube channels with over 2 million subscribers. It's been a heck of a ride thanks to you guys. So if you're an aspiring YouTuber, as a free preview of the course, just click below and check out our masterclass on how to build a six-figure YouTube channel without making all the stupid mistakes we made along the way. Interested? Just click below to check it out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. Leave your comments about defeating the Borg in the comments section below, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.